Hey folks, welcome back to Civilization 6, and welcome back to our Let's Play of the July 2024 monthly challenge, Terra Incognita. Last time, we declared war on Poundmaker, and we're about to go hard against Mikasawachik, uh, hopefully conquering it, and then Arakakup, and then maybe Makwasakahikan as well, leaving him with these two cities, which we might take as well. Um, <clears throat> we're starting here on turn 103 in 1452 AD. We need to move up our ranged units a little bit, particularly this Bombard, to work down the walls here. Uh, we also want to besiege the capital, if possible. We're going to take some shots here, uh, and we want to use our Black Army to best effect. It's a 49 strength, uh, melee strength, light cavalry unit, but it gets a plus 3 strength bonus from each adjacent levied unit. So we've got... Uh, three, four, five levied units here. We may be able to set up a thing where we get an extra 15 combat strength. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to be able to do. We're going to try to make it work. Uh, our friend Poundmaker only has 46 military strength compared to our 560, so he's not going to put up much of a fight, but we still don't want to take him too lightly. Uh, let's see. Who needs orders here? All right, so you're going to wait a turn or two until the Bombard arrives. What are you going to do? So your pike and shot, your 55 strength. You're Pikeman, you're 45 strength. Okay. Um, I think we leave everything where it is for now. Until we can get the Bombard a little bit closer. And then we're going to wait one turn for this Caravel, and then we're going to go Barbarian hunting with this fleet. Uh, you can move one tile in, I think, is fine. You're not going to do anything this turn. Neither are you. There's going to be a lot of wait, like, turn waiting here. There's our wine. And our settler is going to settle this city. Very nice. Uh, we get an extra three population from Hicks and Dracone. So instead of two, we start with five, which is amazing. In terms of what we want to do next, uh, I think we get to work on a settler. Because there's a city over here somewhere on one of these cattle tiles. That could, probably this one, because we could get access to the diamonds, as well as uh, this wine, and these spices. And there's just generally good, there's good yields here, right? There's there's a three food tile, we can get it tur that turned into a pasture. Uh, we've got some hills and stuff, there's a really nice uh, campus here somewhere, and commercial hub. So I think we're going to settle a city here. And then probably do something like, if we set, if we put the campus here, we should get a plus two adjacency, one from the mountain and one from the two rainforest tiles. And then we can place a commercial hub here, that gets a plus three. And we could maybe place another district there. I don't think so. These are kind of the two things we need to worry about. We could like maybe put an encampment there or something or, or something else. I'm not sure to get another adjacency on the campus, but it's fine the way it is. And I think we are going to go straight into building a settler here. And we're going to go hard on production. We don't have a lot of improvements, so it's going to take a long time to get there, but that's okay. Our skirmisher, who else is building a settler right now? You're building a settler. Let's send our skirmisher up to escort that settler once it's made. And let's go to the next turn. Okay, so I did make a mistake there, moving this uh, this crossman forward, because it, it allowed this city to take a shot. Uh, we're going to... I guess we could come forward and pillage the farm, but I think we'll just back off and heal for two or three turns while we move our bombard forward and our other crossbowmen. Uh, you guys are going to just fortify for now. Okay, and now we should have... You should have finished a caravel, right? Where is the caravel? Oh, it was right there. Okay. So let's send these units up north to go hunting for barbarians. They're floating around here somewhere. I don't know exactly where. But I think what we want to do is go find them. And preferably... Okay, there's one of them. Let's get some adjacency up here to protect. And we'll get our frigate in... in uh, or our pri privateer in, in, in position as well. So, 
These guys get a combat bonus from adjacency, which helps them defend. We are a little closer, so if three of them come out, they can only hit those two tiles. I guess they could get three. They might they might take one of my caravels here, but if they do, we'll kill all three of them and finally have security over these waters. Um, let's see what else we're doing. I think you stay there. Uh, you fortify up for now. You found this city. And we'll immediately get to work on our commercial hub here. Okay. We're going to need, like, ten builders sometime soon. Uh, for you, I think it's time to go ship shipyard, or lighthouse shipyard, just for the production bonus. And then we have a governor available for assignment, but we might need that title uh, for Mikasawachik here. We're going to have to put Victor in there, I think. So... I don't understand. It said I had... Wait, what happened to Amani? Oh, did this city get take get destroyed? We had her in, in here. Oh, influenced by two civilizations. Interesting. So why did she get kicked out of here? Hold on. What's going on here? We're at war with them. Oh, Poundmaker took over suzerainty here. You sneaky bastard. All right, well, when we kill you, we'll take that city back. In the meantime, uh, where do we, where do we, where would we most benefit from having the ability to levy units? Probably non-Madal. I don't know what units they have. But they're close enough that we can levy these units and bring them over to the mainland. So let's send Amani to non-Madal. When she gets settled, we'll become the suzerain. Okay. Uh, non -modal. Yeah, so in five turns we gain suzerainty, then we can levy their military, whatever they have, and send them across the water, which will be good. Okay, we got a free builder here. Um, I don't know what the most useful thing to do with it is. Probably a Cahokia mound? Do we have one for this city? I don't think we do. But look at all these tiles we're working that aren't improved. So let's let's actually come over here and get like a like a lumber mill or something. All right, let's check our notifications. We got some error score for settling a Tundra City. Uh, Amani is no longer signed to Wolin. Wolin declared war on everybody. We lost Suzerain T of Geneva as well. So where's Geneva? How did we lose them? Poundmaker slipped some envoys in there. Uh, this one we don't need because we don't need it right now because we are at war. So it's not worth taking that back. And then Wolin, actually, we would like to take back. We'd have to send all four envoys. Because we would like the additional plus one production in the capital. And the plus two production in the armory. So I am going to send all four envoys here. Hungary overturns the old suzerain of Wallen. Okay. So we're back to being suzerain here. That's good. Do they have units? I don't think they have any units for us. They have one musketman up here. Not really worth it. Because we'd have to swim him across the ocean. And Yeah, he's too far away. But we've denied Poundmaker that, um, that, that production bonus. And we've regained it for ourselves. So that was worth doing, I think. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, Harold doesn't like us because we made war. Probably because he was friendly with Poundmaker. She's denouncing us, too, because we have a huge military and we're making war. Okay, they did attack, but we didn't see all three come out of the, come out of the darkness here. And we have a chance. Alright, so first things first, you're going to take a pot shot. So this one's lowest. Let's take a pot shot there. Okay. Now... If we attack with this caravel, it probably dies on the next turn. So let's attack with this one. And let's have you... He's, he's on this defensive reef here, which sucks. But we have tons of movement. So let's go further than he can go. He can go... He can go five. Let's come over here and let's just heal this caravel up. There could be another caravel coming to fight us. 
but we've got a mostly full strength caravel and a full strength privateer so i think we'll be fine we can always run away if we have to all right i need you you have a range of two so i need you to get to this tile so we're gonna go here first and then next next turn we're gonna move out uh, we have a city ranged attack Geneva belongs to Poundmaker, I guess. Yeah, it does. Uh, I don't have to... I guess we're going to have to fight this. Do I have any military units over here? I mean, I could levy something. I could levy... and I can't levy Geneva, but I could levy Mitla? What do they have in the region? They've got a crossbowman and a man-at-arms up there. That's not super helpful. Vatican City has a musket man over here doing stuff and a crossbowman down there. Taruga, we've already levied. I think we can defend against one man at arms, but I might be wrong about that. What do we have 48 combat strength? Um, I think we lost the other units we had levied. Let's see. That's Mitla's crossbowman. That's Mitla's pikeman. So we would get access to this as well. Maybe this is what we do to defend against this. Because you can... One, two... Well, yeah, you get extra movement when we levy you, so you can probably get over here pretty quickly and, and fortify the city. I mean, a pikeman's not much versus a man-at-arms, but we can bring the crossbowman down, too. There's lots of desert, so he'll have lots of movement. I think we are going to do this. We're going to levy the military here. And then next turn, we'll try to help out Tatabiana here and defend against uh, Genevan aggression. For now, let's take our city shot, our ranged strike. It does 35 damage. That's not bad. Uh, we can sell off our amber for some more money and our uh, and our coffee as well. Looks like I can get eight gold per turn from Caesar for the amber, and fourteen gold per turn from uh, Cleopatra for the no, that's for both. So if I just do if I just do the amber with Caesar, what can I get for the coffee? Eight gold per turn plus twelve gold. Okay, let's do that. What else have we got going on? This city's starving, not surprising. Uh, nothing we can do about it right now. And Egypt, Mount Kilimanjaro blew its stack in Egypt. Okay, next turn. Okay, the barbarians are coming out of the woodwork. We now need to move forward, um, so... Attacking across the river isn't great. But we don't, like... I need the adjacencies from all of these levied units. So I think it makes the most sense to send the Black Army here. <laughs> then send the pikemen... Like, send the levied units wherever they can be to grant adjacencies. Um, we want this guy here for sure. Uh, you need to move forward. You can come up here, but then you'll get shot. Um, we don't want to take hits from this city, so let's move you up here for now, and we can rearrange next turn. Same with you. Move you up here for now, and then we'll rearrange next turn. Uh... Okay. Um, let's have the frigate take a shot. And we'll have the caravel kill. Okay, caravels kind of hurt, but that's okay. We survived. We killed two barbarian caravels. That's fantastic. I hope we don't lose this unit. Um, our friendship with Tokugawa died. Does he want it back? He does. He doesn't mind that we're a warmonger. Okay, that's good. Uh, this man-at-arms here 
is supposed to be heading out to help Pesh defend itself. Or no, Tatabiana, right? You're way up here. But we're going to send you as best we can. Uh, let's send you this way. Uh, let's quickly get our skirmisher into the city. It doesn't really defend it, but every little bit helps, I guess. Uh, we've got 44 turns on you. We've got 44 turns on you. Um, you can't do anything right now. What is this? This settler is ready to cross the water, so let's head over there. And then... Now we have our title that we're going to save for Victor. Let's take our ranged attack here. Okay, and now we have to choose production. So, in Debrechen, um, I think... What have we put out? We've put out a couple of settlers. Um, we could get to work on a commercial hub. We could get another settler. We could get a military unit. It might be better to go after like a bombard here or maybe even purchase one. Straight up purchase one. Yeah, I like that idea. We're going to straight up purchase. Well, no, if I'm going to purchase, I should, I should get it at Buddha because I have the armory there and I get extra experience. But Debrechen is closer. I could get another black army. That's 49 combat strength. Pike and shot is 55. I think the bombard is valuable though. We needed to take down the wall. So let's let's do that. And then let's get to work on our commercial hub. I think we've made enough settlers there for now. Over here, what are we doing here? We just completed our government plaza, so let's get the warlord's throne as quickly as possible. It's gonna be 11 turns. So it's probably not going to get a huge amount of it out of it this war, but we'll get some. Uh, you go ahead and get me a lumber mill. And we'll go to the next turn. Okay, so he took a he took a shot at the bombard. That's to be expected. Um You need to start making your way down. We need to avoid taking shots here. So it's gonna be slow going for a bit. But you're definitely taking a shot at the walls here. Um, what else are we doing? Why can't you move to that tile? I don't understand. I guess you can move here for now. We want all our levied units in and around the Black Army. Uh, nobody... No, he can shoot me in, in that tile, so I can't move there. Let's move here. Um, I guess we can... I guess this is the best we can do for now. I could try to put the city under siege by having this guy come around. He's not granting adjacency to my black army, so let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and pillage this traitor. 202 faith? I don't need faith. So maybe we just... What would it look like to attack here? Major defeat. Yeah, we need to take the walls down first. Uh, we need to get you up in a position to shoot at the city to help chip away. Let's have you move there and take a shot at the city. Only does three, but it's something. And then we'll rearrange some more next turn. You need to run away to heal. Let's have you do that. We've taken out two of the Barbarian Caravels, and we know that they're... Uh, we know that they're... We killed a lot of their villages, so they shouldn't be able to, like, respawn too easily. You're not going to do anything this turn. Uh, you're going to take the shot. And then you're going to move forward here. Oh, I guess we're done with you. All right. We might send you across the water, then. We'll just have to look at... I guess, I guess it depends what Geneva does. All right, let's go to the next turn. Of course, in the middle of a war, we get a catastrophic eruption, lose a unit and population. What did we lose? Oh, we didn't lose anything. He lost something. Okay, that's fine. 
Uh, he's going ham on my Bombard here. I think we can take one more shot, and then we might get a promotion. Let's do that. The city is besieged, so it can't heal, but it's going to take a minute and a half to get through these uh, walls. All right, let's move you to there. And then... Uh, next turn we can reposition, maybe. Uh, we can move you here, which lets us move you here. Oh no, there's a there's already a pikeman there. We could move you here for adjacency. Take our shot. This crosswoman can move here. He'll take a shot next turn. This pikeman can pillage for faith. That's no good. Um, as long as we're under siege, I think that's fine. We need to get this second bombard down here ASAP. So you just fortify there. You heal. Uh, the walls are sturdier than I expected. Um, I guess the bombard only does 55 and they're 63. He's got a courser in here. So, unfortunately... Uh, it's going to take a minute to, to burn down these walls. Let's defend there. I think we have enough units, but... Uh, it, it could it could take longer than I expected here. You fortify. Um, you get in, you kind of maybe get into the water here? I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with, the, with these units now that we killed that one Genevan pikeman. Uh, we do have two envoys, so maybe we take Geneva back here go. It's a little error score and we no longer have a threat, which means this guy, these guys can get into the water and come over. I actually probably want to upgrade you in my, in here first. Wasn't there a third unit we were working with? You, right? Uh, I need more niter to upgrade him to a musketman. Okay, so let's hold off on you for a turn or two. Lots of peace. Okay. Uh, in terms of production here, we completed our harbor. I think it makes sense to go Lighthouse Shipyard. We need the production. So let's get started on the Lighthouse. Go to the next turn. This settler can get into the water here. And where are we taking him? Maybe down around the, the Cape down here? To this city? Uh, the sugar is nice. And we've got some good districts here. Yeah, alright. We'll come, we'll come down here. Looks like there's another city over here with more sugar. So, yeah, we're going to be taking a little bit of a meandering route with the Armada once they heal up. We'll give it a, a couple turns for these two to heal up, and then we'll take them uh, to that city location. Okay, there's civil engineering. Improvement makes straight roads, but the crooked roads without improvements are roads of genius. And I think it is now time to swap uh, swap these cards. So instead of colonization, we're going to swap in public works. I think we've got enough settlers for now. We need the builders to uh, improve all the lands we've taken. I think everything else here is mostly fine, except we don't really... Well, yeah, we don't need 50% gold discount, so we can go to unit maintenance instead. Let's confirm those policies. And then what do we want to work on next? Another government, perhaps? More governor tiles? Colonialism, what does that do? Uh, this could be pretty strong, this Raj card. Colonial taxes is even stronger. Yeah, let's go after colonialism next. Okay, uh, let's form an escort with the Caravel. It's healed enough. And we're going to head down and around this cape. So let's get started with that. Let's bring our privateer to escort us as well while our other caravel heals up. We can hunt down that last barbarian later. Now, over here, we got to take this promotion. Um, we want crew weapons for combat strength when defending. Very much we want that. Uh, you can come over here. I don't think you can shoot over the mountain. And then next turn, we'll put you across the river on the wine. Uh, let's see. The crossbowman takes a shot. This crossbowman takes a shot. Um. 
So right now we're adjacent to one, two, three, four levied units. So if I come in here for a fight, it's 61 versus 70. And we just can't do enough damage because of the walls. So I think we stay in this position. What I could do is come over here. I could, I could come over here so we're not across the river. And then we start positioning units adjacent to our black army over on this side. I think that makes sense. Um, so that's adjacent. That's adjacent. And so now we have one, two, three. If we can get somebody over there, that would be good. So it'll take us a minute to kind of wrap around here. But let's move you... You're not a levied unit. We want to move the levied unit a little bit. We can't do that until next turn. You can move, however. And you could theoretically pillage this... Uh, this pasture. Why is all the pillaging faith? I Like, I thought some of it would be gold or health or something. That's kind of the best we can do for now. Uh, we're going to move you next turn. You're going to take a shot from this city, I guess. But that's... You have 55 combat strength and they only have 43. Uh, you do nothing for now. Alright, um, we have a unit defending Pesht. Uh, but we don't really, I was, that's right. I'm waiting to upgrade you. So we're going to wait another turn. I guess I can get you in the water for now and wait a turn. Uh, you, we, we definitely want to upgrade 55 gold to get you to a pike and shot is good. You want to get in the water and cross the, cross the water. Um, how many governor tiles do we have? We have two. Okay. So then in that case, we probably want to promote someone. Units defending within the city's territory get plus five combat strength. Your other cities within nine tiles gain plus four loyalty per turn. So garrison commander could be good to have. I think we'll save that all for Victor for right now. Or possibly another uh, person. She, Amani's established in non-Madal. So we could levy their military, although it doesn't look like they have any. They don't have any military. Okay. Or we already levied them. Um, non-Madal declared war. My alliance level with Elizabeth increased. We have the tech boost for chemistry. All right. Up here in Buda, let's get the shipyard. That's going to be a nice production boost. And let's go to the next turn. Okay, so I think he took a shot at my crossbow. Let's do our promotions first. So this guy can get a promotion to... We want incendiary, so we'll take garrison for now. Uh, this guy got a promotion. We'll do the same thing, garrison. That heals him as well. Then you take a shot on the city. Minus 17 defenses. You move into position to start working on the city next turn. Um, you start moving in here. You move here. You move here. So now we've got one, two, three, four levied units surrounding our black army. He's no longer across the river. Now we have a pretty decent attack, but we still need to work the walls down. Next turn, we'll have two bombards working here, so that'll be good. For now, why don't you fortify? You can fortify as well. And let's scout with... Yeah, let's scout the route with our privateer here. Looks mostly safe. Okay, uh, you can defend. Let's see, you can you can start crossing the water here. We need to come south because that barbarian's still around here somewhere. Uh, you hop into the water and you hop into the water. So we got three more levied military on the way to help out with our war. Uh, Mr. Wasis declared uh, independence and it will very soon become our city because we have... 34.6 <laughs> population pressure on it. Not bad, not bad. In terms of production in Debrechen, I think we go after our market now. And go to the next turn. Okay. Uh, this city took a shot at my musketmen, and then uh, the city under siege took a shot at my bombard. But I'm okay with that. Let's take our bombard shots. There's another 18 defenses there. Now, why can't you take a shot here? What is this? Are these hills? 
They are hills. Unfortunate. So I might, I can't remember if you're on a hill, if you can shoot over a hill, but I have to, I might have to get over into here, but then I'm taking shots from two. So maybe I do this, maybe I move out of the way here. I'm still getting the adjacency here. We can pillage for 202 science, and I think that does make sense to do. Let's do that. Although we are going to take this city. Uh, 202 science does get us to line infantry, though. And the Hussar, and the military academy. You know what? I don't think it's worth it, because this is going to become ours. So I'll just defend here, and you're going to move on to the... What is this? The holy site? And next turn, you should be able to uh, shoot the city. You take a shot... You take a shot. Okay, it's starting to get low here. You're going to need to fortify until healed. You're going to take some more hits, but there's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, we're coming down around the cape, so this is kind of a long trip. Let's scout with our privateer and then advance with our settler. Uh, we need you to get across the water. Same with you. And you, this Hicks and Ducrone's uh, benefit to movement is incredible. Now, this guy worries me. What do you want? You want niter and horses for six gold for 30 turns? I don't think... I have ten niter total. I don't know that I need it because I already did my upgrade. I don't mind giving you horses. I also like open borders, but six gold isn't a lot. What about if you join the ongoing war? You'll do that? Okay. Okay, this Bombard has to back off now and heal, unfortunately. But we can keep up the fight with you. There's another 24 defenses. Uh, there's another 3 from you and... Another three from you. Okay. Uh, you stay fortified for now. Because you and this musketman are taking shots. This guy's healed up. I think we'll start heading up to rejoin the armada. We can travel pretty far. Let's see. What else are we doing? You remain fortified. Uh, you scout the route. Looking for barbarians. Okay, you did find some, so we'll take some shots since we can. And then we'll come over here behind you with our settler. Uh, we need you to get across the water and into this fight, if at all possible. So we're going to bring you down like here. And you guys are going to follow suit. Very nice. Uh, we can purchase horses, but we don't want to. Victoria declared war. My alliance expired. Let's renew that. She's scared of us, probably. Economic alliance. You'll pay me for it. Okay. What else are we doing? Production. You got your shipyard. Okay, so you're up to a respectable 38.5 production per turn. Might be time to look at maybe getting a wonder here. Or we could go after... No, no. Now we start pumping out builders. That's right. Just builder, 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 builder. That's all you're doing for like the next 30 turns. No A bunch of stuff happened there, but when you have... Brother. No one in his senses ought to do so. Without first being clear in his mind what he intends to achieve by that war. And how he intends to conduct it. I do wish, so when you have fast attacks and fast movement on, things kind of happen too fast on the AI's turn for you to see what's going on. Uh, Cahokia should be ours, right? Yeah. Can I levy your military? I can. That's worth doing. They're already over here, so... Let's take those units and join them to the fight. Um, let's see. That's Musket. That's Cahokia. Oh, did it revert right then? Okay, so we're just getting them back in when we had lost them. All right. Um, it's going to take a turn for us to move you guys and use you. That's fine. Uh, let's have you take... Well, let's have the Bombard take a shot. I, I kind of don't know what happened there. 
Control of armies of Cahokia passes to Hungary in an impressive military ceremony. All right. River flood. What did we find? We found something over here. Do I have a... I have a skirmisher in the area, right? Not here. Yeah, here. Let's send this skirmisher down to claim this. Why not? Okay, uh, you can take your... You, you guys can take your shots. Slowly whittling down these walls. This is his strongest city, so after we defeat it, the rest should be straightforward. Um... Is it time to attack with the Black Army? Not yet. We want our adjacency bonuses, so we want to move these guys in closer. Let's keep you fortified. And you're going to go down to join the flotilla, the settler flotilla here. Uh, I would like to move you. But I guess we'll take a shot. You stay fortified. You keep working on this pikeman here. Or well let's let's take let's scout around see if he has a naval unit with him. Doesn't look like it. So let's take a shot from here. We'll inch forward with this group a little bit. We're not going to we're not going to go too too fast cuz we want to be able to retreat. I don't want to risk this settler with the caravel. Um we need to get you onto land and that happens here. You guys come over as well. Okay. Time to choose our next technology. Uh, what else do we want here? I think we had planned to build a industrial zone at some point. Maybe we go for industrialization here. Is there anything we've missed back here? No. Ballistics. Would this be... Yeah, the field cannon would be the upgrade for our crossbowmen, right? And it's cheap for us? Maybe we go for ballistics here. Because as soon as we take uh, Mizikawachik, we can upgrade our crossbowmen then. That seems good. Alright, let's go to the next turn. She wants Niter. I'll take that. Something happened. Hold on, a lot of stuff happened. Wolin declared... Okay, so he took Suzerainty of Geneva... So as soon as we get two envoys, we can fix that. But once again, Geneva's at war with us, which is not great. They messed up my skirmisher here. They've upgraded this pikeman to a pike and shot. And we just sent our levied units away. So I got to retreat here. Heal up and rely on my walls. Poundmaker's being a, an annoying bastard right now. Like, stop taking my citizen trees and trying to survive. Just die quietly. Um... Oh, I was looking at the wrong button to plunder the trade route. It's more important to get the ranged attack from the bombard here. And from you. Let's move you over one. Let's move you over one. You can maybe afford to plunder this trade route. That's 270 gold. Very nice. And I think we're almost ready to take this. With the black army unit. Uh, you're almost dead. Uh, let's move you. I don't know why you aren't here already. Let's move. Uh, no, we're, wherever we move him, he's going to get hit, right? Unfortunately. So we might lose this pikeman or this musketman. Let's move you in here. Um, let's take your promotion. Strength versus melee units. Strength when defending versus melee. Versus Cavalry, double support bonus. Double support bonus seems good. So let's go for Echelon for the heal. And I'd love it. You, If you survive, you will get... If you survive, but you're, you're under attack from three places, they might kill this Musketman next turn, which would suck, but what can I do? I mean, you're already defending as best you can. All right, let's send you down. Um, we'll keep working on this... Pikeman here, and then you maybe swing around here a little bit. Yeah, let's just leave you there for a second. Uh, we increased our trade route capacity, so we should buy a new trader. And who's going to benefit the most? Who's, where's our newest city? I think Gyor here needs a lot of help. Yeah, let's get a trader here. Okay. Uh... Did Estragom complete... What did it build? 
Entertainment complex, commercial hub, campus. What did it build that it needs? Oh, the stock exchange needs power. Okay. Well, I don't see, unless we build a dam and then turn it into a hydroelectric later, I don't see how we're doing that. Where would that be? Here? You know what? This river hasn't flooded all game, but the dam gives me plus three housing and an amenity from entertainment, and we can upgrade it to a hydroelectric dam later for power. I think that's worth building. We don't really need the housing, but we are growing now, so it could come in handy later as well. Yeah, let's get at the dam. Why not? Uh, up here in Pest, we've completed another settler. So let's switch over now that that card is out to building. Uh, yeah, let's get our lighthouse. And then in terms of where this settler is going, looks like we planned a city here. So let's get you into the water or actually there's a better city up here, but it's kind of far away and we don't have an escort unit for you. So yeah, we'll come here. We'll build this city. Uh, you go ahead and get on land. You guys come over to join the war over here. Okay. Uh, what are we doing with you? We could attack the city to do a little bit of damage to its health. We'd take about a third in damage, but at some point we need to go all in on melee attacks. I think we wait until the walls are completely gone. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we'll wait until the walls are completely gone, so let's fortify there. Uh, my throat, I'm getting... I'm <coughs> Hold on a second. Sorry about that, my, uh, my allergies are really acting up. Let's head you towards the fight. This bombard needs to keep healing. It is healing very slowly, unfortunately. You know what, it might be healing too slowly because it's in enemy territory. I think we might heal faster if we moved here. Uh, all right, production in Segzed, what do we need? What do we benefit from here? Um, we're working a lot of unimproved tiles. It might be builder time here. We've got the card in. I think it is builder time there. Uh, we lost Geneva. We knew about that. Geneva declared war on everyone and everything because that's how that works. All right, let's go to the next turn. Our ideological differences are only the beginning. I cannot approve the way you govern your people. Well, tough for you. She intends to see the salvation of our soul. Okay, we might take Misakawachik this turn. Um, let's start moving you into the fight. Uh, let's get you guys on land. Okay. Let's take a shot with our bombard first to get rid of the walls. Finish off with the crossbowman. And now might be the time uh, to send in the troops. So our privateer here can do... Can't you do a coastal raid? I guess this has to be empty first. Let's take our promotion. Uh, I guess we'll take plus 50 gold from coastal raids. That makes sense. Next turn we'll kill it and then we'll raid it for gold. Uh, let's scout forward a little bit. Okay, that's a problem. Don't understand why it hasn't gotten into the fight. But we need to back off from that. Because he, he can't do a lot, but he can hurt us. He can shoot two tiles. So let's move back here. And let's give a support bonus to our privateer and let him uh, work here. It's going to be a minute before we get this settler where it needs to go, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um... I need to take this promotion to heal. Defend against ranged attacks is going to be useful for the rest of this war, so we'll do that. Uh, we have another trade route capacity. Let's choose our route here. We'll go for food and production to Kolosvar. That's fine. Uh, this city looks like already has a trade route to Nan Madal. Um, is that right? It does not. Namadal has a trader out to us. So let's grab a trader here. It could use some help. Next turn, we'll trade with Namadal. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, these units can start moving in. Although, I don't want to move you in range to get shot, so you're going to do nothing this turn. 
Uh, you're going to do nothing except provide support bonuses for defense to him. Uh, what are you going to do? You're going to take a shot at the city. Or no, you're going to plunder this trade route. There's another 120 gold we stole from him. And then... You're going to fortify. Uh, you're going to... Hang on for a turn. Uh, you can get into the fight here. Yes, you can come here and take a shot at the city. Uh, what are you? You're a builder? Okay, we've got our first builder built. L I want to look for blue tiles here and bright yellow tiles, because the blue tiles are tiles we're working, and so improving them is very important. Um, I guess the yellow tiles are as well. Um, I think what we do here is we come and chop this so that we can build our campus first, and then we'll figure out what to do with him after that. We're going to be producing quite a few settlers here, so that's fine. We'll choose production here in Debrechen. When did you finish? Your market? All right, get, you, get yourself a bank. And then I think it's time to start using my black army. So 61 versus 61. This is a good trade. We're running a little long on the episode here, but I think I want to finish... I think we can capture this next turn, so we're going to go to the next turn. We're going to run a couple extra minutes. I love a leader who's surrounded by impressive military. Very good. So, so far... So far, we have not lost a unit in this war. Politics, colonialism, imperialism, and war also originated in the human brain. Okay, uh, we have to consider our two new diplomatic uh, policies. Colonial taxes gains us 10 production and 20 gold. I think that's better than whistle banking. I think that might even better be better than Merchant Confederation. And then, yeah, Raj is better too. 14 of everything. So, I think we're putting these two cards in. And then... This is 43 gold. That's better than 24 gold and 6 faith. So we'll put this back in this wild card slot. And then we're no longer producing naval units. So maybe we take native conquest. I don't know. Discount on upgrades could be good. We're not really producing any units. Industrial zone adjacency bonuses could be good. Maybe I try Native Conquest. I haven't used this one a lot. I don't know what counts as units from earlier eras, but, you know, we're not fighting units. We're just fighting walls, so that doesn't help us. Maybe we'll go for the Industrial Zone Adjacency. I don't think we've built this yet. What's actually going to help us right now? Uh, yeah, Limitane, when we stick Victor in here. Okay, that's that's all good. Let's go over and kill Mitch Kowasik. Let's take a shot. Let's take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. And let's capture his capital. Nice. Okay. So we're going to definitely keep the city. We're going to immediately slot in Victor. And then Victor's going to take a promotion for Garrison Commander. And uh, that's going to be where we end the episode. So, uh, the first part of our war against Poundmaker has been successful. We have captured his capital. Looks like a bunch of stuff happened. Uh, we've improved two wine resources, so we have an opportunity for an industry there. Maybe a corporation with our next merchant. Um, completed a city-state quest... Captured the capital, got some uh, error score for that. Yeah, lots of good things. Our prosecution of the war took a while. Th these walls are brutal. We need to get, we need to figure out what comes after uh, bombards and like make a rush for it because, uh, yeah, these walls took what seven turns I think to bring down. It was it was pretty rough. Um, so we'll figure out how we redistribute, redeploy our units. For a turn or two of healing and consideration uh, at the start of next episode along with dealing with all of these notifications and figuring out where else we go i think we go after this city next that's his new capital 
and it has nine population, which is his highest population. So we want to we want to neuter him before he can build more units or anything like that. I don't know what he's doing, but we're about to take him down. Uh, things are going well. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time. As always, thank you guys so much for uh, for watching and for commenting and liking and subscribing and all that good stuff. It really makes it worth running the channel. Uh, I love this game. This uh, Terra Incognita challenge is like really cool. I'm typically bad at war, but so far I feel like I've done pretty well. And the levying ability of Matthias Corvinus is really cool. Just in general, this is a cool challenge, a cool scenario. I'm really having fun with this one. Hope you guys are too. We'll see you next time. Take care.